Hey, welcome to Palm Beach, which is just behind me. In today's video, we're gonna walk from Palm Beach to Manly, which is about 33, 34 caves. First of all, I'm gonna walk up to Baron Joey's Lighthouse, which is all the way up there. I'm not sure why, but it's got awesome views. So I um, thought I'd extend the loop a bit further. And yeah, come along for the ride. Uh, we're also camping halfway in North Narrabeen. It's the only campsite I could find. So yeah, let's check it out. So this is where we're hiking to. We're in Palm Beach all the way down to Manly. But if we zoom in, we're gonna add on this Baron Joey Lighthouse loop at the top. Let's get going. We're camping in Narrabeen tonight. So it's the only camps I could find in the northern beaches en route to where we're going. So that'd be really fun. And I've changed a few things in my pack from last time. It's a lot lighter. I've got some trekking poles and a trekking pole tent. It's a lot lighter already, so I feel like it's gonna be slightly more comfortable carrying this backpack. Yeah, first stop, Baron Joey Lighthouse, which has this super famous view. I've been up there before, but it's awesome. I thought as we're here, we might as well go up. Should be a good one, so come along for the ride. Someone just asking about GoPros, which is funny. Um, so you've got two options. You've got the access trail, which is 800 meters. I think it said it takes 15 minutes or the smugglers trail which is just straight stairs and I think it takes 10 minutes I think it's 400 meters have a guess which one we chose if you want to get up there so quicker the better so we can get on with the rest of the trail We're at the top mid to Baron Joey Lighthouse. Absolutely stunning up here. I'll try and get some footage and some photos on my phone. Just sit here and there's just panoramic views, which is pretty cool. Look at that. So now we're gonna head all the way, head all the way south. As you can see, it's some pretty epic views. Now time to head back down and actually hit the trail which was meant to go on and head to Manly. On the way back down, I'm going to try the access trail because I've not actually never done that. So I want to see what that's like. And uh, yeah, definitely if you're in Palm Beach, walk up to Baron Joey Lighthouse because it's epic. So if anyone's wondering how you can get to Palm Beach, you can get the ferry to Manly from anywhere near a ferry terminal. And then I got the bus all the way up from Manly to Palm Beach, so super easy. Iconic Home and Away. If anyone remembers that show, I'm pretty sure it's still going, but yeah, I think it was filmed here. Yeah, the access trail is pretty good and it's a lot easier to walk down. The views are awesome. I've also made quite a few adjustments to my pack. So it's the same pack, just in my last video, if you've watched that one, it was my first time doing any sort of overnight backpacking and it was just way too heavy. So I've got my new tent, which is a trekking pole tent. So stay tuned for later on in the video. I'm going to set that up for the first time. I also need to seal the seams and there's a storm coming in so that's going to be interesting and yeah that's just made all the difference. I've also switched out my water bottles, I've changed cameras so I'm selling my a7c, I'm just filming on my phone and my gopro so I'm going to see how that goes. Already I'm filming more because I just really enjoy filming with the gopro so for me it's just the ultimate hiking travel camera. Yeah we're gonna make another video on that so stay tuned for that. Yeah, again, I've got really similar weather to the Royal National Park hike where it's like overcast, still warm. And for me, that's absolutely perfect because I don't do well in the direct sunlight, especially for like five or six hour hike. So um, yeah, everything's looking good so far. So after that four kilometer detour, we're finally back on the trail. And now we're going to walk about 15 k's south. Having a quick refuel and sunscreen. Got my sun hoodie. It's the best way to protect yourself from the sun. It's a lot of stairs getting out of Palm Beach. Some beautiful houses. I 
I thought property in the eastern suburbs was pretty good. And now I've come to Palm Beach. It's on another level, to be honest. It's pretty impressive, even if you just drive to Palm Beach and then do a walk around here. It's, uh, it's incredible. I feel like I'm on a movie set. There's a car garage down there. Want to see that? Awesome. Welcome to Whale Beach. The whale of time. So as you can see, I've got the full sun protection. I've got the hoodie, the hat, sunscreen, sunnies. We're just at Avalon Beach, which is on the other side of this, as you just saw. I'm going to stop here for a bite to eat and some shade because it's pretty hot. It's about 24 degrees, so I need to get in the shade for a bit. So after a very successful lunch stop, at the Sunset Diner, that was awesome, epic burger. We are finally back on the trail. So we're just leaving Avalon now and heading to the campsite. Well, got a, another two to three hours to go. I hope we should arrive at the campsite before five. That'd be nice. Because it's forecasted to thunderstorm, but you just never know with the weather. But I still need to seal the tent up. So I'm gonna, gonna head down, get some K's in. I'll see you in a bit. Sydney. Here we are at Bill Gola Beach. Now we're walking on the sand. This is epic. Wow, look at this house. It's really cool prime real estate, that. Welcome to Newport Beach. This hike just keeps getting better and better. Unbelievable. Look at that. So I've taken my sun protection to the next level. As you can tell, I've got the buff on and this just protects your neck and everything from the sun, which is awesome. Got this idea from Darwin on the trail. He's a really famous hiking YouTuber. He says always carry a buff because there's so many uses and he's not wrong. Okay, we're about 22 Ks in. We're not far from where we're staying for the night at Sydney Lakeside Holiday Park we're on the homeward stretch. Probably about half an hour to go. But uh, yeah, looking forward to getting the tent set up and chilling out. It's clear just where that blue dot is. Just to get up to here. Right, we made it to the park. We all checked in. I've got my site number. So now we're going to the site and we're going to set up the tent and then chill out and either go for a dip or a shower. <laughs> I'm just happy I made it here. Here we are. Not much, but it's home. Wasn't too bad to set up. Just take a bit of practice. But it's nice and airy. It's gonna be a windy night. Right, so we're in the tent. It's pretty, it's pretty cushy. Um, seems like there's pretty big gaps here though. Not sure how that's gonna go down with the rain. <laughs> I mean, it is like a, I can't remember how much this was. I think it's like $90 for the tent and the poles, and the trekking poles. So it'd be interesting to see, I mean, there's thunderstorms forecasted. I do need to, seal the seams. I've got that in my bag hopefully. I'll just do that. And then I'm gonna have a shower and then we're gonna go grab some food. This is the sealant which just waterproofs the seams. It's not overly encouraging when the Amazon description says you need to uh, need to do this but we'll give it a go. Tent seams are all sealed, fingers crossed, only time will tell. I'm just gonna go grab a shower. This is like a holiday park, so it's family friendly, showers, um, yeah, like a proper holiday park, I'll show you around. So we're just here, we're number six. I just need to walk around the corner to the showers. Yeah, you have the lake and you have the ocean here, but it's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit cold, it's a bit late for me to have a dip. I'm just uh, a bit exhausted really, so yeah, I'm just gonna 
grab a shower and then go grab some food in town. Uh, just a short walk. <laughs> I've already walked 24Ks today, but hey ho. Um, and yeah, I'll leave you guys in here. It's a bit weird, I'll take you to shower and uh, see you in a bit. Okay, that was an awesome shower. Now I'm gonna head to a Mexican restaurant for some food, I'm pretty hungry. And I might even have a beer. I think I've, I think I've earned it. Home sweet home. Hey, so we're back in the tent. I'm not sure if this is picking up how small this tent is, but the wind is kind of blowing the sides in. Like the wind's really coming down this side and blowing, blowing it in. Same, I mean, this is blowing really far this way, so. I don't think it's, I'll turn this off. I don't think it's completely the tent's fault because it's a really windy night, but it says it's seven foot and I'm, lo I'm laying down because both ends are kind of being blown in by the strong winds. Um, see, can you see that? I don't know. I don't think it's fair, but we struggle with two people in here. Maybe, maybe, give it a go. See a windy night, we'll see how, how we go. It's 50% chance of thunderstorms. Yeah, an absolutely fantastic dinner. Now I'm just gonna get ready for bed and sort my, sort my rucksack out. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Good weather for ducks. Good morning from North Narrabeen. It's a beautiful morning here. That's the campsite I think that was, right? It's nice and sunny now, but it was raining pretty much, raining really heavy during the night. And the tent held up really well. There was no water inside the tent, which is really nice, but it's soaking wet in my backpack at the minute. Put the rain jacket on, got the cover for the backpack on, and now we're heading to Manly for the second section. Should take I would say between three and five hours, not very good at estimating how long it takes for the backpack and filming. But um, yeah, we should be there by lunchtime. It's 6.30 in the morning, I'm already on the trail, so making good time. First stop is Willie's to get some caffeine and some food, but look at this. Absolutely stunning. Yep, the rain's here, but we made it to Willie's. Right. What's that bird? Well, as an update, uh, Willie's didn't have any breakfast food or couldn't find any, so I went to a, ca a local cafe called Bar 2101. Very good coffee, had a sausage roll, an apple turn, everything. This is such like a, what's the word? It's such a luxury through hike. Obviously you can camp if you want to, but you're never too far away from like a coffee or a pastry or a craft beer. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool, I definitely recommend it. If it's your first one, if you've done a lot, and you'll get someone into hiking, Rach will be back to do this one. And uh, yeah, now it's onwards to Manly. I'm also not sure if you noticed, the rain stopped. So I put the hiking poles away, gave them a go. It's a bit strange, but I don't think I need them when it's like this. And yeah, rain jacket's off. Right, so we're finally off that main road since I left you last in Colorado. So we've had the whole way from Narrabeen has been pretty much a main road. So it's nice to come off that main road. Now we're in DY. Welcome to DY Beach. I've been attacked by flies. I don't know if the GoPro can pick them up. There's these little flies which just keep hovering around me. Yeah, I did shower yesterday, but so annoying. So it's not just me they're attacking, they're attacking everyone. Everyone's doing this as they're walking by. Ugh. It's crazy. Here comes the rain again. I'm very happy I have the GoPro rather than my Sony A7C, especially when it's raining like this. It's not cold, it's just raining. It's like 24 degrees. Wow, this is a fun bit of the trail. DY is just there, so definitely come on this bit. It's epic, some of my favorite bits of the walk so far. Wow, look at this. Amazing. Pretty close to the edge though. Look down there. My secret hack. 
good tip that. Always carry these. Whoa. What a take take. Whoa, the rain's really starting to come in now. <laughs> I think it's up. It's like I'm in some sort of tropical storm. On a cliff face, it's probably not the best place to be. But we're still here. We're still kicking it. Whoa, look at this river. <laughs> oh wow, this is crazy. Look at this. The pathway's now a river. Wow, I really need hiking shoes. I know I've said it for the past like six months, but this is getting silly now. Ding in the rain. That rain is just relentless. I mean, I'm wearing a Uniqlo jacket, which I don't think is completely waterproof. My backpack cup is way too small, but luckily we're on our way home, so it doesn't really matter if everything gets wet. I've got a microphone in there, but I put it in a um, sandwich bag, so I hope that should be alright. I don't think we're too far away, probably an hour or two. An hour or two to go to Manly. Oh, a bit of cover here. Awesome. You can see the rain coming in over there. This is Curl Curl. The rain coming towards me looks absolutely horrendous. So this is going to be fun. That's what the adventure is all about. This rain is hectic. I don't know if the GoPro is picking it up. But wow. I might put it in a slow mo. As a weather update, the rain seems to be getting heavier, so we're 3.2 k's from Manly. Right, so as an update, my phone screen's broken because of the rain, I think. Well, obviously it was the rain, but it's gradually saturated and the screen doesn't work. But I use Siri to call Rach to let her know because this is my navigation, payment, literally everything, communication. So yeah, a bit of an error there. Lessons learned here, always bring cash, bring your card and bring a secondary communication device like a GPS or something. So I'm gonna buy a Garmin, I think. You live and you learn. Currently using the bus maps for directions. So we're here, just take a right, one left, left, down to Manly. Almost there, one phone down, but spirit's still high. Let's hope I can pay for the ferry. This is my payment as well. Thanks, time will tell. We're in Manly, it's just a green screen. I managed to get Apple Pay up, so. Fingers crossed this works, so we can get the ferry. We made it, as you can tell, we're just waiting for the ferry terminal. Didn't work to start with, but we managed to get Apple Pay. So, yeah, that makes things much, much better. Ooh, that was stressful. But we've still got to go from Circular Key back to Rose Bay, so fingers crossed. Everything works out. We made it onto the second ferry, just about. Okay, so we made it back to Rose Bay. I'm pretty sure the rain's getting heavier. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.